I am Miles Dunn. Um, I'm a recent graduate of Carver Early College and I'll be attending Emory University in the fall. Um, plan on majoring in business administration and economics. My scholarship is called the Quest Bridge Scholarship and I'll, through that scholarship I have received a full ride to Emory University. I am Rhonda Dunn. I am the proud mother of Miles Cole Dunn. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, not originally. I'm a military brat born in, Phil in the Philippines. Been here most of my life. Graduated from Clark Atlanta University and I'm proud to be sitting here today as the mother of a Gate Scholar a Quisper Scholar and the valedictorian of Carver Early College. I've always had a very close, tight family. They, um, we go by the saying, it takes a village to raise a child, and that's especially true in my household. Um, every adult, aunt, uncle, has always found a way to impact my life in some shape or form, whether it be helping me out with a homework assignment, giving me money, taking me out to an event, and things of that nature. Miles, oh my goodness, my first, he was a surprise and we were all in shock. I think we were all in shock, but he was the greatest surprise ever. Changed my entire life. Raising Miles was a little different because right after Miles came my second son. So it wasn't just raising one, it was like raising twins. Every day that we walked over the threshold, they need to instantly sit at the living room table, open your books, begin your homework. I didn't want to see my parents have to struggle because throughout my um, childhood, even though my mom would say it's jokingly, well, she was still kind of serious. Um, if you don't get a full ride, there's no way we're gonna be able to get you into college. And so, um, even though she may have been joking around, like, yeah, she still would've been able to help pay for some of it, I took that very seriously, and I made it my goal so that she nor my dad would have to pay anything towards college for me. I was happy for myself, but I was happy because I took that burden off of their shoulders. Oh my goodness, Miles is the exceptional child, of course in the situation that he was raised in. He had to grow up a little bit more um, quicker than most of his friends. Not much, because I always wanted to him to maintain a childhood. But in, in the struggle and in the, in the sacrifice that we all had to make, he did such an exceptional job at being a child as well as excelling academically. Alongside Emory, I was accepted to Harvard, NYU, George Washington University, Morehouse, Clark, Georgia State. Um, University of Miami, Howard University, University of Georgia, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. So those are all the schools I can remember off the top of my head, but yes, I did get accepted into a lot of schools. When I first learned of QuestBridge, which is the scholarship I applied, um, I used to apply to Emory, um, we, me and my mom, we were talking to one of the, I don't, I don't, I don't know the official title, but we were talking to them, and he basically said that don't get your hopes up because not a lot of people get the scholarship. Um, I don't remember his name, and, and like I said, I don't remember his official title, but being, because of that, I was discouraged, and um, I didn't think I was going to get it, so opening that just proved that no matter what anybody else has to say, anything is still possible if you put in the work. For us, in the situation that we were in, we needed to go with an organization that was going to provide a full ride out the gate. And in that, he had to list the, the top schools that he wanted to go to. And unfortunately, in those particular programs, HBCUs aren't listed. We've made a pact that we're going to pretend like he's at Harvard. So he's going to be away. He's going to do his thing because I want him to grow. I want him to experience life. And I want him to take the hits. And I want him to take the victories and deal with them as an individual and as a male. So going to Emory, I hope to be exposed to different cultures because it is a PWI and it's nothing like I've ever experienced before. So hopefully through, by going to Emory, I learn, to learn how to interact with different types of people who may not look like me, who may have different beliefs to me, who may have different values. Um, and so I hope to grow as a person through that experience.